Let's go, Arkansas fans. We get our first bit of spring practice footage. Yes, sir. Bobby P instructing the offense on what to do. Comment down below your thoughts on today's video if you are even excited about Arkansas football anymore. So it is important to note that there are quite a few players with New Jersey numbers. That's Rashad DeBinion in the back getting a carry from uh, Talon Green, and then in the background, this is actually K.J. Jackson, the left-hander, uh, handing the football here to Jaquindon Jackson, rocking that number 22 that Raleigh Williams used to wear. And there's Isaiah Agastave uh, getting the carry right there, going Old school barehanded. I love it. And that's Sam Pittman right there in the background. You know, one thing that really stood out to me was how much uh, Sam and Bobby were around each other, right? All righty, let's get to the juice, baby. The scrimmage portion of today's practice, okay? One thing you've noticed already with uh, these few plays we've seen from Bobby Petrino, a lot of pre-snap motion from the tight end position. A lot of these successful offenses in college football do that, right? That was a big part of what LSU did. So you get a play action fake right here by um, to, to Rashad Dibinion. I want you to see what this play action fake actually does. And once again, the angle is tough here. But this is a really well shot from Natty State Sports. Um, that is a really good play action fake right here. Because watch this backside in Nico Davile. Da Davilier? Is, is that how you pronounce it? Either way, you'll see that while he was engaged with this block, um, he initially was engaged with Luke Haas, who motioned over here to the right side. So... Luke engages with this block and then releases, right? This is what the Kansas City Chiefs do a great job of on my new NFL channel, Power Hour NFL. That video will be floating in the top right corner of your screen. I just did a deep study on this idea, right? Delaying your tight end with the block and then leaking him. So you'll see that Luke Haas did a really good job selling this block. And watch what happens to Nico. He runs into his own guy, right? He's thinking that this ball was actually handed off to Dominion. And that's why Taylor Green was wide open here for a run to the right side I know it's tough to see so you know one position Arkansas is trying to show up is this left tackle position this is a really really good job right here by 55 make sure I get his name uh correctly here Jay or no Fernando Carmosa the transfer from San Jose State okay so He's going to get slain to Jackson, obviously one of the best ends in the SEC. This time, Nico makes a play from the left end spot, and he forces um, Talon to run. That's a good job right there by Nico, and then Talon fumbles, okay? This was an issue to a certain degree um, at Boise State with Talon Green, right? This is a un abated fumble. No one actually stripped it. He just lost it before he actually falls on the ground. You know, you would just see this when you would watch Taylor Green. Just a bunch of random mistakes uh, such as that one. That's just got to get cleaned up there. Uh, but then again, no, it's just only the first day of practice. Now, I love this. Once again, tight end manipulation. Arkansas does not have the elite wide receivers, but they do have a really special tight end. So you saw a minute ago all the motion back and forth. This time... It's a little head fake split zone, and what they're doing here is this is just a one-player route. Play action fake, pull it, and then you throw this football to Luke Haas. And the key right here is getting this edge block. That is a really, really good job right there from Jaden Wilson. And let's see what happens. Is this a handoff the entire way? It is. Okay. That's really well done by this Arkansas defense, okay? Either way, uh, this looks like this is number five. I believe that's Ball. Um, it is Cameron Ball. Okay, the backside defensive tackle. He does a good job just blowing this up. That's really, really good stuff right there uh, versus number 75, Patrick Kustis, okay, out of Memphis. And that's just gross. That's as good as you're going to see, right? Basically, two gapping him this entire way. If for some reason he wanted to cut up and get vertical, he could shed and just come right back here. Instead, he just kept squeezing it, and he was able to make the play there if they were actually bringing people down. 
Also, a really good job right here by Lorando Snacks Johnson getting off this block um, from number 63, Addison Nichols. Okay, um, just good stuff all around on that defensive rep right there by the Arkansas defense. Okay, now we get another uh, quarterback in here. This is Malachi Singleton, and get a play. Uh, no, actually, we're handing this football off here to Jaquindon Jackson. Man, this is I – mean, you could already see it. I mean, th this is your RB1, all right? Um, he sees immediately on this stretch – that there's just nothing going to the outside. Look at how quickly he plants and gets vertical, okay? Not a whole lot of wasted movement um, right here. At least I think that's pretty well done. It could be a little tighter there, but still, you can just see that he's got some juice, man. All right, here we go. Malachi Singleton in at quarterback. And first off, let's give some love to this protection. Good stuff right here. Once again, I, I'm interested for Arkansas, whoever can play left tackle, okay? Here he is going up against number 97, Quincy Rhodes Jr., a sophomore out of North Little Rock, okay? Um, who is this left tackle, though? Is that 76? That is Imarion Harris, okay? Um, man, this is just a really, really good rep right here, okay? Man, that's just domination, now, uh, some offensive line coaches would say you don't want to lean that far forward, but man, he is still. It's just a, I don't care about technique when you dominate a guy that bad. It's good stuff. Now, protection overall looks to be pretty good across the way. It does look like somebody does get beat on the right side, but watch this strike right here by Malachi Singleton. It's cut off really badly. Can't really do anything about it. He hits Varkis Gum uh, right there on the seam round. I'm telling you, Varkis, when it comes to receiving, he, he's pretty legit. Um, and we get a high snap here. Get to Jacoby Criswell. And look at that. It's uh, oh, I thought that was Gums. That right there is number 80. Shamar Easter. Okay, the true freshman from Ashdown. Coming in with a lot of hype. So if you were to say one thing, um, uh, about Arkansas's offense, their tight end group is pretty elite. I mean, you can make a case that it is one of the better ones in the SEC. And uh, LSU's got Mason Taylor, Amari Nyblack's now at Texas, uh, Georgia's tight ends, Lawson Lucky, and, and Oscar Delp. But Arkansas's tight end room, compared to the rest of their offense, pretty deep. That's a good throw right there as well. All right, so we get to Jacoby Criswell here. It's a quick little screen out to the left side. To number 83, Dasmond James. We get a little bit of a holding call right here on Bryce Stevens. You can't really turn someone like this. Obviously, um, one thing I think that's going to be very interesting with Bobby Petrino is how creative he can get with plays into the boundary. Okay, obviously this is a screen into the short side of the field. Not well executed. No real surprise here. Looks like these are a lot of backups for Arkansas. Now, this is really good stuff. Um, once again, you know, you just ran that play into the boundary. Now, you put trips into the wide side of the field. And tough to see this corner right here is bailing out. So, you would like to think that this out is going to be open. Quick step right here by uh, Chris Well. This could be a little bit tighter because you'll see that this ball cross field is uh, completed, but you'll see that the timing of it is just a little off, right? You want this receiver to be catching this on his outbreak, and you see he has to kind of wait for it and get down, but still overall it's a good throw. Uh, getting it out there and, and seeing which receiver is going to be open just based on pre-snap alignment. Um, let's see, Chris Well again. Okay, and it's the play you just saw a minute ago, okay? Um, and it, it's just this quick little out right here to Shamar Easter, okay? And obviously he didn't catch this cleanly. Obviously this is the first day of practice. I don't really care. Um, but God, just love this play design. It's just very simple, very easy. It stretches the defense and... Obviously, the ball wasn't caught clean. We'll see what Easter can do as, as spring develops. So, I hope you enjoyed this today. Now, I'm going to give you the guy who needs to have a big spring is Eric Mateos, the offensive line uh, coach 
none of this is going to work until they fix this front, right? And I would be remiss to not talk about the Andrew Shea and situation. I just don't understand what's going on, right? And it's hard to inspire confidence when you have, you know, the head coach saying, well, the, the, the player doesn't love football anymore. And then you have Shambly clapping back on, on Twitter. Uh, it, it's just a tough, tough, tough look um, for a position that's trying to build depth. But I don't know the entire situation. So you guys can enlighten me on it. But still, it's just... It's just not good all around. Um, what I will tell you, though, as far as uh, the offensive line is concerned, a great play caller can help alleviate uh, offensive line issues, right, with the way that you can motion your tight end around. Uh, and you saw a lot of that with Luke Haas, right? And I do think Arkansas should look into running more 12 personnel, which is two tight end sets. Most of what you saw today was 11 personnel sets in the scrimmage. So maybe that's something that can develop throughout spring. And obviously, you know, all the new players with all the new jersey numbers actually cut out a lot of this film study uh, today. A bunch of other practice clips. If you guys want me to post it, I'll be happy to do so. I just don't want this video to last for forever. But you see Sam Pittman also working with this offensive line as well. This unit has just got to get built um, better. And, of course, this offensive line um, will be helped out, hopefully, with some Bobby Petrino better play calling. But you guys let me know your thoughts on what you want to see here on Power Hour SEC. Arkansas fans, you guys have showed me more love than pretty much any other SEC fan base on here, so let me know what you want uh, as far as content is concerned. It is! <laughs> Power Hour SEC. Boom. Hey, there's Sam Pittman getting into him. There you go. I like that. Um, obviously, I butchered a few names today. It's spring ball for me as well. Huh? 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 Uh, so, please be lenient. And tonight, we are doing... Um... And by the way, click on one of these videos, uh, some off-season breakdowns. We are doing brisket. Let's go.